Alright, hey what's up guys, Weekly Light here, and I have an update on my uh, uh, 4D test project. Um, so in the second day I was able to make a couple methods. So the first thing I did was I made a um, method called lines up. Basically it it's basically just a check that um, all the pieces in the future are in the correct spot. Um, it was actually more difficult than I thought it would be to make it. There's a lot of conditions like whether or not it actually exists in the future and if it's in the correct spot. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of if statements and it was a pain. And I have to make a helper method for it called num in future, which just returns the number in the the number of uh, pieces with the same ID further in the future. And this is a very simple method, but it gets used a lot up here. Um, so that's why I needed to uh, simplify it or, uh, you know, make a helper method. Um, and then I also started working on the is legal. Um, so is legal is a huge pain because there's a lot of things that can make a move not legal. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've like if a piece is not selected, if it's the wrong team, if it's in the wrong time period. And then I've handled the case for all 3D moves. 3D moves are super easy. Um, I also had to make a helper method down here called is 3D move. Um, which is really simple, but it it uh, makes the code up top a little nicer and then in incorrect time Basically, uh, just to make sure that um, to limit the cases to uh, 2d chess, which is much easier to solve than 3d and 4d chess um, Is legal only work for one time frame though, so I'm gonna have to figure out How to implement it such that it works for all the time frames. I'm gonna have to combine is legal with um, uh, lines up and then hopefully I can just uh, put an and statement or something uh, for all the instances. Um, and also num in future could be helpful. But uh, let's see where was I? Um, yeah, so I have to use also the incorrect time method here in is 3D move. And then um, I'm starting to now work on the uh, conditions for each piece. So I have the pawn if it's a pawn. I was thinking of putting these. Um, in the pieces and having a each piece be a subclass of the piece class but I figured that'd be too hard because I'm storing all the information in the board class therefore I would want um, I would want my um, thing to have access to all of it but since the board is a collection of pieces the pieces would not have access to board unless there's some way to do that but I don't know how to do that so I'm gonna have to write all my stuff up here in board um, so I guess I could um, I could make a just put this in another method, but for now I'm just gonna sit here in the is legal method. Just uh, commented to make it clear that this is for the pawn condition. So I finished the pawn condition because the pawn can only move to four possible spaces, spaces which is super simple. And then I just started working on the bishop, and the bishop is a huge pain. I'm thinking of using two for loops. Um, and then truncating it such that it doesn't check its initial position in the final position. But then I'm going to have to see if like math.min or math.max is actually a function. Because um, I'm not sure if I can find the min or max um, of two numbers. And then I also made a two string function for both the board and the, um, the piece. So the piece also has a two string. It just returns the type. So as you can see down here, what I did was I made just some testing, uh, what's a client code or whatever. So um, here in the paint, I, uh, I print the board, I remove um, 0, 8, and, which is the first, um, or it's like, it's this one here, that's 0, 8, because row 0, item 8. And, um, and then I print the board again. Um, the board is initialized down here um, in my, when I, in the constructor, is um 1008 and 016 they're all uh pawns id1 so what that looks like at the two string is this here so this is basically one board and then it this gets removed so but then it gets removed in the future also so then it becomes this board here and then this down here is just remnant code from when I was testing the uh, if the uh, the mouse clicking works. It says you have to enter and exit it in order to uh, click the little X in the top right of the window. I can um, show you, I guess. 
run it. Oh, wait, there's errors, because I have not finished the is legal yet. Sadly, the is legal method is not legal. <laughs> okay, so that's as far as I've gotten. I'm going to try to finish the bishop and the rook today, and then I think the queen can just be a combination of the bishop and the rook. And then the king is going to be like the pawn, pretty much. Um, the, the knight will be different from everything else, but I think the knight will actually be easier to implement than the bishop. I think the bishop's going to be the hardest one for me, so that's why I'm doing it first. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. I'm going to try to keep you guys updated on this project, and hopefully I'll actually be able to complete it.